The pictures paint a story of disregard, garbage tossed on the ground left for someone else to clean up by campers who are homeless, or as advocates prefer to say, houseless. But here's a stat that might surprise you. Most of the trash tossed on the ground in our area is not from the homeless. I don't like seeing garbage on the street at all. 22% of illegal dumps that, uh, that we, our crews at Rib Patrol cleaned up last year are attributed to people experiencing homelessness. That means 78% comes from people who dump it illegally, sometimes near homeless camps. Still, that 22% is pretty nasty. The city of Portland reports it picked up 8,400 gallons of human waste last year, along with 346,000 hypodermic needles. What's the solution? Dozens gathered at a hotel in Portland to share ideas today. This housing advocate says, let the homeless stay in small communities. I think when folks have a space that is theirs, that they can stay put at, we have much better ability to maintain and manage garbage and recycling, um, and folks having access to hygiene in those situations. Barbara Weber is homeless. She said her group lives in the woods and takes care of its garbage. How we handle it is that we gather it into a certain place, we tarp over it, and then we have a private individual come with a vehicle, pick that up and take it to the dump, and we pay for that. Um, but does it build up? Another solution, in North Portland, volunteers pick up garbage from homeless camps twice a week. We give the opportunity for people to volunteer with us, to come out, to sort of break down the barrier and not feel like houseless people are different than themselves. I heard that a lot at the gathering, that more work is needed to get rid of the stigma that the homeless are somehow dangerous. But there is a reason people sometimes feel that way. Just today, my photographer took pictures from a public sidewalk of a tent and garbage in the Sullivan Gulch area. It's along Interstate 84. Suddenly, a man from the camp ran up the hill with a club and, as my photographer was leaving, hit his equipment. Fortunately, my photographer partner is okay, although he did injure his hand on the damaged tripod. We did file a police report. And we'll keep an eye on some of these proposed solutions to see how they go and let you know if it works or not.